Hello, hello, people! Welcome back to Motherland Ursus! Did you all have fun with Trials for Navigator? I had lots of fun with it. It felt fresh to play. It felt good to destroy the bosses with 4 stars. I even have it all recorded. Let's see if I put myself to edit that one. Even if these bosses are nerfed versions, it's a great event. But today we are here to see our great bears tackle the ultimate trial. I didn't really play TN with bears during the first iteration of the event. I think I only did the first map, which is only two sections. And being totally honest, I wasn't planning on playing this time as well. But you know how things go. You decide to stop doing something important to have some fun. And before you notice, you got yourself a nice clear in Dark Knights. This mug apart, Trials feels much easier playing it for the second time. Maybe I'm just more experienced, or the operators are that much stronger thanks to the new modules, or the bosses are really that much weaker than before, I don't know. Either way, our first boss is Emperor's Blade! Again! I'm doing the obvious here, controlling where I want the smoke to fall while clearing the normal enemies. And Blade, unfortunately, can deploy his smoke on top of the gelato towers on the next screen. So we need valid targets to stop that from happening. I had to deploy up Cynthia early to get the first skill out, because Gumu is too strong and will trigger it on herself otherwise. There is some stall in this clear, but not that much, since healing isn't one of our strongest qualities. And TN can incentivize the stall, for redeploy time and everything. I am using the 4th buff by the way. Minus 15% attack against the plate, but plus 15% against Endwain and plus 45% against Alula. It just feels like the coolest choice in my eyes. I am swapping Gumu for Aurora, because she tanks the boss better thanks to her bigger defense and also her amazing regen. Never forget. The plan is to bait the three clouds on Absinthe, Isna and Rosa. But even if things don't go according to plan, it's going to be close enough. Won't affect the final result. I just need to hope for some dodges and control the damage so my plate doesn't die. All the while laughing at his small range. <laughs> it's great to see Ops outside his range attacking him, no problem whatsoever. Except the massive attack speed down, but you know. So the idea of not killing the boss before allowing him to go on a stroke is, again, for stalling. I want Rosa to be ready to spawn Q1 Duane, and since I'm using her to bait smoke, I gotta wait for her redeploy time. Like this, he has very few hit points left for Jay to finish his life safely. And we are ready for wave 2. As we all know, Duane is a pain to deal with because of his dodge and damage reduction. That means he is hard to burst down, unless you use true damage. But with some nice timing thanks to the gelato, allows for a strong Rosa hit before the dodge field spawns. Some precautions deploys and some luck leave the Sancta very dead. Dealing with phase 1 so early is great, because the more you delay the skill, the harder he gets. The dodge field won't affect my strat for the third wave, so there's nothing to worry about. This can can easily kill most ranged operators, but Zima, Gumu and Aurora will be completely fine. Dealing with the normal enemies is nothing special, so let's skip forward to the fun part. I just had to make sure to spend his ammo, so he doesn't destroy everyone clumped together. It feels like he used his scan a bit too early here, which made things more complicated for me. I think I killed phase 1 too quickly. Thankfully, Rosa survives this kill and the bounce doesn't reach her. But the second shot goes directly into her. I'm not in a great position here, everyone is basically bound to die, so I recall that. Again, I want to at least spend his shots. That way I can kill him safely at the end. But now the defenders want to leak, and unfortunately, I just let one go. So I don't waste all my DP and then force it to reset. This is also bad because my stall time is cut down. But I'll find a way to manage the low DP. Jay baits the shots, Isna finishes the man. Just look how beautiful those three dodge fields, one tile apart from each other. All that is left is to face the deathless black snake. Oh, how could I do it with no medics? Yeah, come on, that talk is too old at this point. I just make sure to recapture the gelato so I can use it as the amazing shield it is. And thanks to the dodge fields, I have more than enough time to prepare. Let's be real, I'm not killing everything here. 
as we all know, leaking is legit when it's available. So I'm leaking some raiders. It's way too much dodge and far too little healing to deal with all of them. I'm just letting Jay kill the bear dogs and think about how to hold Talula for long enough so that I don't trigger the phase transition before I'm done with the normal waves. Yes, killing Talula too quickly is a massive concern in this clear. That 45% attack buff comes in absolute handy though. Gomu survives for far longer than you would expect. I am concerned about TP, so I try to recall her before Talula can make bear barbecue. But would you look at that? We got more bears from where that came from. I would like to ask you to not walk Talula. Thank you. Of course we have some fitter action to spice things up. And you might notice that I'm not really thinking about baiting Talula's skill. And I should tell you that this is not skilled thinking in any way. I was just making stuff up as I went through, and it magically worked out. And yes, I am proud of things just magically working out. I had absinthed two on me for this whole clear, and I think it only mattered for a single raider. Not an amazing decision on my part, but eh, it worked, we accept it. Zima is obviously having a hard time in the dodge field, so we just let her know she did a great job and recall her. But now we are almost done with the normal enemies, we can finally deal with the boss. And yes, we are surviving on 1 HP. Now it looks like CM, right? The plan is simple, kill Talula very hard. Rosa has massive damage, her mod works wonders against Talula, so it also deals massive damage. And if we never let her walk on the dodge field, it's going to be a breeze. Or not? Look at that boss buff killing our bears. So mean. But even if that happened because I decided to ignore the fire disease, you know, it's not gonna affect the final result. Look, even if Talula can get past our first defenses, she still has to go all the way around. There's a whole bunch of tiles we can use to block her. Honestly, at this point I knew I had the clear. I even have the incredible powers of generating the P on my side. Might not be as good as God and anime. But hey, huh? vengars are powerful. I just gotta make sure to not lick the last bear. So you know, J time again. And here we have the amazing protection of the Gelato Towers. Which, I cannot understand why they would give that to us. They have so much HP, you have to stop forever to lose them to Talula's fire. Depending on your setup, you have 4 whole safe tiles on top side to leave pretty plot for phase 2. But in my case, I'm just gonna use the extra SP and blast the boss away. Of course we still have a show to watch, because they decided to keep Talula's second fireball wave. I don't understand why, but it's there. Anyway, I haven't been following Sin stuff for a while, so I don't know how TN3 will be, but I hope I have as much fun again. And I hope you had fun as well in Trials, I would love to hear in the comments down below. But this is it for today, this was Kuma. And I hope everyone has a very nice day. Peace out.